In this video, we are going to be installing and setting up Local Expose on our Kali Linux. Local Expose is just an alternative to NROC. Now, I have already made a video about NROC before. You can check it out in the link in the description box. Now, why do we use Local Expose? Imagine you and your friends are on different parts of the world and not connected on the same Wi Fi network. If you want to show your friends something on your computer or you host a web server, your friends cannot directly access it, right? Because you guys are not on the same local host. So, with Local Expose, you can create a secure tunnel between your local host and your friend and your friend can directly connect over the internet and see your web server. Local Expose is completely free. You do not need any public IP or domain. So without further ado, let's get started. First, open up your browser, go to Google and type in local expose and press enter. Go to the link where it says local expose, expose your local host server. From here, click on get started for free. It will ask you to sign up, give your email and password. Click on sign up. After the verification of the email and logging in, you will be prompted to this page. From here, click on access. Here, these are the OS you can download local expose to. Click on Linux. Click on MD64 and your download will start. After your download is finished, come back to your terminal. Go to the directory where your file got downloaded to. And I can see this is the file that got downloaded. Now type in unzip space the name of the file and press enter. And now this is the file that got unzipped. We have to give this file an executable permission. So type in sudo space chomod space plus x plus the name of the file and press enter. And now we are ready to execute this file. So type in dot forward slash the name of the file space account space login and press enter. It will ask for your access token. Go back to the local expose web page. Scroll down and you can see your access token here. Copy this, go back to your terminal, right click and paste it and press enter. And now it says I'm logged in successfully. Now we are fully ready to start our local expose. So let's see the help menu first. So type in the command dot forward slash L O C L X space dash dash help and press enter. Here you can see I can use these many commands. I can use GUI, I can use tunnel with the protocol HTTP or TLS or TCP or UDP. I can manage my own domain reservations too. But for the purpose of this video, I will only create a tunnel with HTTP. You can try out other different commands too. So first let's start our own web server. I'll be using the Apache 2 web server. Type in the command sudo systemctl start apache2 and press enter. Check the status of your web server with the command sudo systemctl status apache2 and I can see my Apache 2 web server is now active and running. If I go back to my web browser and type in localhost, I can see the web server is now running. But if I give this web server to my friend, my friend cannot access it because it's not connected through the tunnel. And now we are going to connect this web server through the tunnel with local expose. So go back to your terminal. Check the help menu one more time. And I can see in order to create a tunnel, I have to give the command T. So type in dot forward slash l o c l x space t and the protocol that you want to use so in this case i want to use http so http space dash dash to space the port that you want to host your web server on so by default apache 2 web server is hosted on port 80 so i will type in 80 and press enter now I can see that my secure tunnel has been established. Copy the from field for me because of the size of my terminal. The full from field did not come. So I will copy until the dot. Go to my web browser. Paste it and type in dot l o c l x dot i o and press enter. And now I can see that my local host has been established over the internet. And if I send this link to my friend, my friend can also access my web server. Now, very important before I end the video, if you have a problem executing the file, please download a different binary download file for Linux. I downloaded the AMD64 for you. It might be something different. That is for the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.